Okay, so this morning, this morning I've got uh, quite a bit to get done. Of course, I got some more stuff to plant today. The biggest thing on the agenda today is going to be getting that uh, getting that duck run done. Ducks are getting big enough now; they need to get out, and they're still just a little bit small as to putting them with the other big chickens and. I think Mocha's kind of gotten used to them. Um, and today it's supposed to get up to like, I think 80, 81 degrees. So they need to be out in the pool. So I'm gonna put them in the duck pools while I get their duck run done. And let me get these eggs collected and get all the chickens out. And by the way, I got surprise for the chickens this morning. They're gonna be happy. So let's get them out. Good morning, chicken. Good morning, Mocha. Hey. There you go. Hey, yum, yum, eat them up. Just stay there, Mocha. Go get in the pool and shut up. Go get in the pool. First place she goes every morning, right in that pool. She loves it. Okay, so a uh, major dilemma is, so I'll show you, here's the, there's the duck door, and it's going to come out right here, but I want them to be able to get here into the pool, which right now you can see, I haven't dumped all the water back out yet, it's a cesspool. Of course, the moron here will get right in, that's her pool. See, she's an idiot. There you go. It's her pool. At least she thinks it's her pool. But what I gotta do is just run some chicken wire around this area to get the baby ducks out, get them on grass and get them out in the sun and out in the weather some. Keep the big chickens away from them. And, uh, but I still gotta have access to, for mocha to get to the pool. So, what I think I'm gonna do is just run two sides down each side of the run and just leave the pool sitting at the end with one side open to the outside so Mokla can get in and out and leave, because I know the chickens won't go through the water and leave this other side open to the duck run where the baby ducks can go out and get in the pool. So, I guess, uh, we're going to give that a shot. <laughs> Which, by the way, you want to see how big the so-called baby ducks are now? Look how big these ducks are. So I'm telling you, these ain't no small ducks anymore, so we gotta get them out. And what I'm gonna end up doing, which that's, that's another thing, but, uh, all right, let me get started on this duck run.
Okay, I've had an epiphany, or at least I think I've had an epiphany or a change of mind. I don't really think that there's going to be much need to to build a duck run. Um, the ducks are holding their own. The chickens aren't messing with them. They stood up to Mocha. Mocha's not messing with them. They came out the the door and figured out where they were at and. Went on over there and got in the pool, so. I think the hardest thing that's gonna be is like when we had to train Mocha and uh, Latte was going back in to coop late in the evenings. We just have to get them used to doing it and then once we do, then they... And the bad thing is if Mocha had stayed continually going in that site, in that coop over there, which is my mistake, well, it, if she would have kept going in the coop, then come to come this evening, we could have just told Mocha it was time to go get in the coop. She went on up in there, and then hopefully the ducks would have followed her. But on the other hand, Mocha would have been depressed to such a point. I don't. I mean, she was she was she was kind of rough right there. After uh, can I help you? What? Oh. I always want the camera time. She was to a point. I, I don't. I don't think she. Number one, I don't think she laid any more eggs. Um, but I'm not sure she's survived. She was just in such a state when when Latte died. I don't. I don't think that worked out. Well. Y'all acting the fool again, ain't you? Yep. Yep. So uh, I guess we're just gonna have to retrain him, and I'm gonna have to see whether or not we actually end up putting Mocha back in the same coop with the. Uh, with the younger ducks. I don't know. We'll figure it out, but I gotta get the coop cleaned out while they're outside. extra stuff now that the uh, spring and summer starting to roll around. Normally on food scraps and stuff I've been putting in the garden beds and letting them compost down. But now I'm using the garden beds. So now it's time to switch over and start my compost pile for the summer again. And that's where we'll put our scraps that the chickens don't eat. So I'll show you the compost pile. It'll start out small by the end of the summer. It'll be huge. A lot of food scraps and stuff we didn't use in there. Um, compost manure. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll take it and put it in the garden bed starting the beginning of the winter. That pile and start the process all over again. So I'll show you the small pile we just started. Here's the new pile. And it'll be a whole lot bigger than that. But that's the first part of it start breaking down really good. And you can see the leftovers and stuff from last year are kind of still sitting around. Anyway, that's the compost pile, so get started on another year.
Bug, what are you yakking about with your loud mouth? Huh? Aren't you in agree with the baby uh, territory? Uh, yeah, yeah, mouthpiece. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I get the duck coop open back up, get cleaned out, got the ducks out, and of course, who comes piling in like usual? Nosies. Them's the nosiest chickens I've ever seen in my life. There ain't nothing in their farm, but they're gonna get in their mess with it. Boneheads. Okay, so I got the uh, ducks coop expanded. Let's see how much more room they got now. <coughs> Which is plenty of room. Of course, here's the nosy bunch, like usual. Got to play whack a mole every once in a while. But they got a much bigger area now, and with that many ducks, they need it. So that should work out for them. And uh, now I just got to get the rest of this mess cleaned up in here. But oh well, that should work out for them. We'll see. We'll see. And I'm hoping to put Mocha back in there with them. So. Well, we'll just have to see how that goes. Who knows? Okay, the uh, duck coop's ready. As you can see, they got plenty of room now. Of course, I'll get the water and the uh, feed in there, and they'll be ready for tonight. The, the whole joke of the day is going to be in training those, um, training the ducklings like we did Mocha and Latte about in the evenings going into their coop which was a battle every day from the word go. It was just one of the things. But with that done, I go ahead and get started on the last uh, planting this month that I got to get done. And uh, then this afternoon, we'll, uh, we'll see what a big joke it is trying to get those ducks back in the coop. So let's get the planting done and we'll be done. Got the duck coop enlarged. Figured out that the baby ducks are big enough now to kind of take care of themselves. Didn't have to end up making a separate duck run. Got the plant done for the end of this month. So this month I'm covered on planting. Now it's just a matter of taking care of it, keeping the aggravating weeds and especially the centipede grass. Now you know how I hate centipede grass. God, I hate centipede grass. Um, we got all that done. That was a good bit accomplished today, which is good. And, uh, all the animals are happy, happy, happy. So, uh, thanks for watching. Share it with anybody you think might like it. God bless all of you. And, uh, I guess I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.